This video will demonstrate the proper procedure for setting up and using the Kato Prewinder Air Installation Tool. Let's begin by reviewing each component. This is the air motor. We've added a quick disconnect, not included, for ease of operation. Just below that are slots that allow excess air to escape. At the front is the drive shaft, and around the perimeter, external left-handed threads. Connecting the air hose will cause the air motor to run in reverse or counterclockwise. It is designed to do that. Pressing the lever will cause the air motor to run forward or clockwise. Release the lever and the air motor runs in reverse. There is no on or off switch on the air motor. Once an air supply is connected, it will continue to run. The Cotto Prewinder Air Tool is capable of installing coil thread inserts from sizes 256 to half inch and M2.5 to M12. To allow for this broad range of sizes, Cotto offers two adapters. The smaller adapter is for sizes up to a quarter inch and M6. The larger is for sizes 516 to half inch and M8 to M12. For this video, we will be using the small adapter. The adapter acts as a bridge between the air motor and the front end assembly. Inside the adapter is the drive sleeve. The drive sleeve rotates when the air motor is activated, and it's responsible for turning the front end assembly mandrel. The threads on the adapter are left hand threads. To assemble, slide the drive sleeve over the air motor's drive shaft, slide the adapter completely over the drive sleeve, and turn counterclockwise to tighten. A good hand tightening is all that is needed. Do not over tighten. At the front of the adapter is a lock nut. Turn clockwise to loosen it. Turn counterclockwise to tighten it. The next component is the front end assembly. This is the part you'll swap out for insert type and different thread sizes. The Kato Air Tool can install both tangless and tanged inserts. Here we have a tangless front end assembly and this one is for tanged. The two major components of the front end assembly are the prewinder body and the mandrel. Inside the tangless mandrel is the spring-loaded pivoting pole. This is the part that will grab the insert and drive it into the STI tapped hole. The tanged mandrel has a drive contour that will grab hold of the tang and drive the insert into the STI tapped hole. Please note the prewinder body is stamped with the thread size and the maximum air pressure. When installing Kato coil thread inserts, always use the minimum amount of air pressure and never exceed the max value stamped on the front end assembly. The standard front end assembly also includes three spacers and four shims, three thin and one thick. The spacers and shims control how far out of the prewinder body the mandrel will travel. Using one of the spacers and one or more shims will allow you to fine tune the depth adjustment for your particular application. The smallest spacer is for two diameter inserts, the medium spacer is for one and a half diameter inserts, and the largest spacer is for one diameter inserts. For this demonstration, we are using a one and a half diameter insert, so we'll use the medium spacer. Thread the mandrel completely out of the prewinder body. Slide the medium spacer over the mandrel, and then thread the mandrel all the way through the prewinder body. Here's a tip to help you check the installation depth before assembling the complete tool. While holding the prewinder body perpendicular to the tap tool, turn the mandrel and install the insert manually. Once the insert is fully installed, thread the mandrel out of the insert. Now check the installation depth. Adjust if necessary by adding or subtracting shims. To connect the front end assembly, remove the lock nut from the end of the adapter. Remember the threads are left handed, so turn clockwise. The slot in the drive shaft is keyed and matches the end of the mandrel. Align the keyed slot with the mandrel and slide the mandrel into the drive shaft. Place the lock nut over the front end assembly and tighten by turning counterclockwise. Before fully tightening the lock nut, rotate the front end assembly so that it is positioned for operator comfort and preference. Once again, a good hand tightening is all that is needed. Do not over tighten. The front end assembly is designed to work with bulk and strip feed inserts. 
However, its optimal use is with strip feed inserts. Towards the tip of the front end assembly, notice the strip feed slot. Slide the plastic strip through the slot. Once the insert is in the well and the strip cannot be pulled through the slot any further, the insert is lined up with the mandrel and ready to be installed. The final component is the filter regulator lubricator. This component is mandatory for each air motor. The arrow indicates the airflow direction. The filter is designed to remove moisture and contaminants in the air. The regulator controls the air pressure and includes a pressure gauge. Once again, when installing Cotto coil thread inserts, always use the minimum amount of air pressure and never exceed the max value stamped on the front end assembly. The lubricator is a reservoir of oil. It keeps the air motor lubricated and should be set to release one drop every 60 to 90 seconds. Now that the Prewinder air tool is assembled, we are ready to install some inserts. Connect the air supply to the air motor. Notice as soon as the air is connected, the air motor activates and runs in reverse. The front end assembly mandrel retracts into the drive shaft and stalls the air motor. Although the air motor is stalled, air will continue to flow through the air motor and out the vents. This is normal. Hold the tool perpendicular to the hole so that it is straight and avoid holding it at an angle. This can cause the installation to fail and may damage the installation tool. Begin with a very low air pressure setting and increase the air pressure gradually until the tool installs the insert with minimal effort. Reducing the air pressure will extend the life of the installation tool. Once the insert is fully installed, release the lever and the mandrel will retract. Check the installation depth and readjust if necessary by adding or subtracting shims. With the air pressure and depth adjusted correctly, we'll install some more inserts. Please note, due to variations in the tapped holes, it may be necessary to adjust the air pressure slightly once production begins. As you can see, the Cotto Prewinder air tool is fast, simple to use, and by swapping out the adapter, can install the broad range of sizes up to a half inch and M12. It is a great option for medium to high volume users of strip feed and larger bulk coil thread inserts. Thank you for watching the Cotto Prewinder Air Tool video.